Hello and welcome to another Home Inspector ND video. Today, we're back into garage again. Many of us have garage door openers, but they are old and require simple garage door remotes. After decades of use, many are broken, or like this remote here, work only when it wants to. This is frustrating. So what do you do? Well, just like everything else in your home these days, make the device smart. Of course, the question is, how do I make my 20-year-old garage door opener smart? One solution is to get a wireless smart garage hub add-on. What this does is remove the old remote from your keychain and moves that action to your smartphone. If you're like me, you already have your outdoor security cameras and lighting control on your phone. So having this control on your phone feels natural these days. The added benefit is that if you have a family, each one can control the garage door from their own phone without needing a new remote for each person. The other benefit is something I never would have considered viable until more recently. Unfortunately, more and more people are being affected by porch pirates. These are people who go around neighborhoods and see a dropped off package from the likes of Amazon or UPS and simply steal the item from your porch. Amazon now has something called Amazon Key. This is the ability for the delivery driver to leave the package inside your garage instead of on your porch. Now, this does two things. One, it protects your package from theft. So you may be away at work all day and your package is not left on your porch waiting for some asset buyer to steal it. Two, it keeps it away from bad weather. We're in Canada, so winters can get really cold. And if the package contains something like sensitive electronics, it's not out in the freezing weather all day. On the negative side, do you want to give access to your garage to a stranger? I think the answer may be no to many people. But if you decide to use this service, you should have at least a motion sensor camera in the garage for security in order to see who enters and leaves your garage. Now, let's do a quick unboxing of the product. The important part here is the sticker. It's a reminder that you need to make sure that this product is compatible with your garage door opener. And we'll get back to this later. Open up the box. We see the ad for the Amazon key servers for Prime members we talked about. And here we have the Wi-Fi hub. And now that's used to connect your phone to the garage door opener. It also has LED lights and audio signals. Next, we have the mounting plate for the hub, and that's to attach to the wall or ceiling. Next, we have your standard quick start guide and your AC plug with plenty of cord length. Now, next we have the actual door sensor. Now you attach this to your garage door. We have some mounted hardware. That includes the Velcro tape for the sensor and the screws for the hub with a warning sticker that you can place on the door. The next question is, is your old garage door opener compatible with this smart device? As you can see here, there is a wide variety of manufacturers that is compatible. Since many of the garage door openers in my area are Chamberlain or LiftMaster, and the fact that the garage door opener I will be installing is an old Chamberlain, we will concentrate on this line. If you have a Chamberlain LiftMaster or Craftsman opener with a yellow, purple brown, red orange, or green learn button that was manufactured after 1993, then it can be compatible. This button provides a specific radio frequency to communicate with the receiver. The button in this garage door opener is found at the back of the device. And here we have a green button. Since this device is made in 1995, that tells us that this should be compatible with the My2 Tech. The installation of the device is fairly easy. There is no detailed instructions in the box because the app will walk you through every step. So the first thing you need to do is download the MyQ app from the Android or Apple Store. Use your QR code app to scan the QR code from the Quick Start Guide. 
this will take you to the App Store to download and install the ModQ app. With smart apps these days, you do have to register the app. Not a fan of this, but I just use my Google information to quickly register. There are only a couple of things you need to do for the setup in the garage. The main hub can be installed either on the wall or ceiling. I chose the wall with an outlet nearby. Using the mounting bracket and the provided hardware, install the bracket. Just make sure it's at least six feet high. And then just plug the hub for power and put the hub on the bracket. The other part is the door sensor, which would tell you its open or closed status. Install this device near either top corner of your garage door and just use the Velcro they provide to attach and pull the tab out of the sensor. That's all there is for the physical installation. Next, the app will guide you step by step on how to complete the setup for use with the smart device. The installation consists of pairing the hub to your Wi-Fi network. Then you just need to pair the door sensor with the hub by pressing the button on the sensor. And from the app, choose which garage door opener you have. And then when prompted, pick the color of your garage door opener learn button. In this case, we have green. It will then tell you to push the button. So we press the green button for just a second. Now the connection should be established. Now let's test the operation of the smart garage door opener and it works nicely with no delay. But there is one thing I absolutely hate about this app. And if you notice, there is a very huge ad at the very top of the app promoting its other products on the main screen. And now let's try closing it. Here we see a safety feature where it's giving you a visible flash and light and an alarm to tell the user that the door is closing. The app also tells you how long it's been since it was open or closed and its history. The other major option is using the Amazon key feature for deliveries. Here, you can add your Amazon Prime membership to the app. When buying an item from Amazon, choose this feature when checking out. This will give the delivery driver a code to scan when at your house to open and close the garage door. If you have linked a camera, you can get a notification on its delivery. And finally, a tip for new users. In the app, click on your account and then security. By default, security is turned off. You should turn security on with biometric to make sure your garage door is more secure. Final thoughts. What can I say? It worked as advertised and the installation was simple and fast. The flash and lighting and alarm when closing is a good safety feature. My old remote was not working half the time and I needed something to open the garage door. With the price I paid at $29 on Amazon, it was just slightly more than a replacement remote. Overall, I'm happy with it. Thank you for watching our video on making your old garage door opener smart. If you find the information here useful, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and think about us for your next home inspection. Hey, looking for more videos like this one? Check these out.